welcome back to my channel. I know a, when I was on my big rant about me starting this and I was saying my first video is gonna be about everyday drugstore products that I used and it didn't happen. Well, it did technically because I made it and I kind of rambled on for over 30 minutes about it. So we kind of nixed that one and thought, okay, we're gonna go back and redo it properly and I'm not gonna talk y'all's ear off. So here it is. So I really hope you enjoyed my first video about your basic eyebrow. Um, and I went over the Benefit Superstar brow value set that I got and I told you I would talk about the products, the ones that I did have not used and I didn't use prior. And I will say, um, before I start my drugstore, daily products, that I did use Goof Proof Brow Pencil today in that same uh, shade number two. There we go. Um, and it's the one with the spoolie on the end and the angled pencil. I am gonna be honest, I am not that great, or I'm still learning and getting used to the, the pencil side of things. I'm really, really, really a lot better with the gel, I can manipulate it a lot more. Um, but this is not this is not a bad product. I'm getting used to it. I'm you know my eyes aren't probably my favorite. My eyebrows are my favorite right now because I'm getting used to using a pencil. But th it really does come off a lot more pigmented than I thought. So um, just thought I would update y'all on that use. But diving on in, I'm gonna make this really really fast. Because this is Christmas Eve, and I'm about to run off with my little man and Garrett to go see my family. So diving on in, I use the Elf sponge to apply my foundation and my concealer, and I do love it. I think it's a lot better than the Beauty Blender and the Real Technique one. Um, the Real Technique one, I believe you get it for about, like, depending on what pack you get, maybe like five or six dollars, and this one is a lot bigger and a lot fluffier for a flat out five dollars, so I really, really enjoy this one a lot more. Um, so I do use that for my concealer and my foundation. Okay, jumping right on in. My all-time favorite drugstore foundation right now is Lotta Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. Um, it does say foundation and concealer. I just use this for foundation, not concealer, because I really like a full coverage look. Clearly, everything's on and covered. Now, I do, I am using the shade... Creamy Natural 2A. It is more matte, but I will say it's not as mattifying as a lot of the other foundations out there. And I do have more combination to oily skin, so I do kind of steer clear away from, you know, the luminous ones, the dewy ones, because if I just put that on there, then it's sliding right off my face and it's not looking pretty for me. So I do appreciate this because it is not as mattifying, but it does lock me in and lock all my oils in. So I do really recommend this one. This is probably, I think, $8.99. Uh, you get at Target, CVS, Walgreens. I do have three concealers that I do like, but today, like, I'm just going over on what I use just now. I did use the Maybelline Fit Me, and they really have a great line with the Maybelline Fit Me brand. This is my concealer that I use in the shade 15 Light. Um, I do use a lot of the Fit Me stuff. This is a really good one. The powders are great, the compacts, the loose powders. The foundations are not my favorite, but they're not terrible. But if you're looking for a more medium coverage concealer that where my girls put that, let's layer it on, let's lock everything in full coverage, you can definitely build this up. If you do not like full coverage and you just want like, hey, I need my dark circles covered, some spots here and there, this is also a really good one. The other one I do like for full coverage is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo. There we go. This is a great one. This is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I do like this one. I will say after uh, my pregnancy, my skin doesn't take to it as well. I don't know why. I'm gonna try some different primers with that. Oh my God, I forgot primers. Okay, I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, but I do like this one. And another one that is very similar to that is the Makeup Revolution um, Conceal and Define. You can get this one at Ulta and this one maybe was like $4.99. And then the e.l.f. one is roughly around less than $5. It's not bad at all. Since I was getting ahead of myself and I didn't even tell you about my primers and everything, let me do that real quick. Um, once again, Maybelline, I'm like loving Maybelline. Like there, there are a lot that I use like seriously. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Quite a bit. I know a lot of people say you don't need primers, you don't need primers, but honestly, I my skin, I will tell you, I do need primers. Because in the mornings, it's, I'm either really dry for some reason in my like, creases, 
or I'm really, really oily, and it's, it can't, it's not in between, can't figure itself out. So after I wash my face, I do spray the Maybelline Lasting Fix. Ha, there we go. Um, I do, I just spritz this all over my face, let it dry, and then I apply the Maybelline Master Prime. It's the blur redness control. I do have um, pretty big pores around my T-zone, and sometimes, um, like from the acne that I had, especially during my pregnancy, I do have those spots still, so like some scars. That covers it up, and I did, and everything is matte. Um, I mean, you can't, you can't tell my pores as bad. Don't zoom in and pause this. But um, I do really like these two together. ELF has a great putty primer as well. That's another one that I would use. So jumping back on the bandwagon, that's my primer routine. That's my foundation routine. Now I'm dump, jumping into what I set with because if I don't set fast enough, it start, you're gonna see creases everywhere. Just my skin's so oily. So when I dive in with especially lighter under my eyes and on my T and around my nose, especially in that crease right there, I do, uh, this is a new one that I got from Ulta a couple weeks ago. It's the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Powder. And I really do like this one. At first I wasn't too sure and then it's just in that tiny little. I wasn't too sure, but the more I practiced, like I played with it and then different, you know, concealers and different foundations I use and primers, I really like this and it does not crease at all. Especially like under your eyes when you get those little lines, I don't have any issues. So I do go in with that and now I am not the girl to say, okay, I'm gonna set my under my eyes, my tea and leave everything else unset. That's not me, I can't take it. I feel sticky and tacky. So the Maybelline Fit Me Compact, the 120 Classic Ivory, I do use a big poofy brush and I apply that everywhere just to set everything in. Um, I'm telling you, this Fit Me is great. Another thing that I have been using and I just ran out of is not the compact version, but the loose powder, the Fit Me, is really great for setting under the eyes as well too. Uh, that's one of my, I think that's more, that's my favorite more than Milani, but I just ran out and I'm using Milani right now. Those are everything that I set everything in. So the next step that I dive into is my blush and my bronzer. So the bronzer right now, I am loving this. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Guys, it's soft and creamy. There's different shades. I think I'm the lightest bronzer because your girl's white. It's just so smooth. Like, I'm not kidding. It's like butter butter and it smells like coconuts. Now, if you're not a big fan of strong smells and stuff, I would not get this, but I do. I like I like smelling good and I like being able to smell things, um, so I do really appreciate this. And as you can tell, it's not too dark um, and it especially helps when I have my, my tan on. I'm not too dark. It does have a more of an orangey, a reddish undertone. If your skin tone does not look well with that, I wouldn't uh, suggest this, especially if you're more lighter and fair. I wouldn't go this route, but that is the bronzer that I do use. Now my blush is Essence, and this is more at Ulta. I haven't seen Essence in HEB or CVS or anything like that, but it's this was, I think, $2.99, $3.99, and it's the shade Peach Me Up. It's Essence Matte Touch Blush. It's super pretty. Yes, there we go. It's more in person. It's not as peachy. It's more of like a rose peach. And it goes really, really well with that bronzer that I had. And I don't go too crazy with my blushes. It's not like to look too red. Like I just got sunburnt. I like to look like I actually can tan in my life. So that's what I go in for my blush and bronzer. Now for my highlights, I got a lot of messages saying, oh my God, your highlighter is drugstore. It really is, and I watch uh, Casey Holmes on YouTube. I'm, oh my gosh, she's one of my favorites. And she came across this one. It's the Wet n Wild um, Loose Highlight Powder in the shade I'm So Lit. That's what the top looks like, there we go. You get a lot of bang for your buck, guys. This is like $4.99, and look how much highlighter you get. And it's more of a champagne color, and if I were to take a knife like this, I'd one swatch. $4.99 or something like that, like oh my god. I do, this is one of my favorites. One of my favorites right now, and I'm in love with it. And I do use this not only on the temples, my nose, cupid's bow, chin, a little bit on my forehead, but I do use this for the inside of my eye and under my eyebrow to make myself not as matte and as, you know, I'm shining bright like a diamond. But uh, that is, yeah, I'm not kidding. Y'all need to go grab that. They're compact highlighters. I'm not, they're not as pigmented. So this is the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. Um, this is the compact version. This is the, what shade is this? Blossom Glow. 
it's not as pigmented. Now it's still got some color, it's still got some pop to it, but it's not as pigmented. So if that, what I have on my face or what I just showed you is way too much, Wet and Wild, the compact ones are really good. And I, I would strongly suggest that. But if you're more like me, like blind me, yeah, go with that, the lit one. So going into my eyes, I did use the Butter Bronzer for my crease shade, like the lighter crease shade. So this is, you know, uh, very versatile. But I did go in with the Wet n Wild All Natural palette. Very, very similar to the Naked palettes that you see. And I went in with this Topi Killer. So after I did my, my bronzer and my crease, I went in with the taupey color and then I jumped to that more of an olive dark olive green color to make it a little bit darker and that's all I did. I did not do anything on my um, actual lid. I did not do anything extra. I kind of wanted to create some dimension and add something to my eye, make it simple and it didn't take me that long. I will say that palette is not, you know, as pigmented as other brands out there, but it's very great for a drugstore and it does, the, it does what it needs to do. I'll say that one. So that I do use every day. And it has a great range of so shimmers right here on your little peaks, uh, peak colors. And then you do have a dark brown shimmer. That is actually really pretty. And I do like to put that on my lid sometimes if I'm wanting to go darker. And then this white-ish color, it's not the greatest. I wouldn't, if you're just wanting some like cheap dark ones from here over, I would, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. If you're wanting lighter ones, um, I wouldn't get this palette for this lighter ones, but that's what I use my creases for every day. Jumping in, guys, I forgot I had this. Like, I started doing my wing liner uh, last week, and I was like, man, I forgot to do a wing liner for a long time, and I'm not, I'm not that rusty. I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm not that rusty. But this helps. Like, this pin has helped my hand, and I know I had a couple people say, like, man, your hand's so steady. How do you do that? It's I use the felt tip. I'm not even kidding you because my hand is not as steady as you think. Like, I'm shaking but this nyx epic ink liner is good like this is the felt tip and it just is so bendable like that's it there and that was of course not the perfect swatch but i wanted to show you how matte that was how quick drying it is and how bendable that little top is to where you can manipulate your wing to look good and guys it stays it does not smear it does not do anything i highly i don't even know i can't tell you how, how much this is but it is drugstore and you can get it wherever NYX is sold. I would I would go get it because I forgot how much I really like a wing liner. It completes your look and it makes it kind of more, like I'm trying to wipe it off and it's not coming off. Diving into mascara, Essence, this is I, $2.99, $3.99. Essence, I got it from Ulta, it's great. And it has that curved spoolie, spoolie, there we go, um, on the end and it does cling to my, um, Brows really, really well. It's not not clumpy, not nothing. It's really smooth and it doesn't make, it doesn't mush your <laughs> eyelashes together. Now I threw my lashes away, the box of my lashes, but I will tell you it's technically not drugstore, but Amazon has some really reason, like, reasonably priced things. It's the Amore Lashes, A-M-O-R-E, Amore Lashes, and these are the Wispies. Now they are pretty long, so if you're not, um, used to having longer lashes. They do have other styles, but the Amore lashes on Amazon, you can get packs of like six for $12 or like it's, they're cheap. Now they're, you know, they're not the best quality lash, but they're very, very bendable, manipulative. That band's not that thick to where you cannot work it. And I can get easily six uses out of one pair of lashes as long as I take care of them. And I, that's where I usually go. And I do, I do use Ardell quite a bit and quite often. Um, but when I can, and when I'm thinking like ahead of the game, I'll order me a great little pack of the Amore lashes and now I'm set for like the month. So shout out to those. So did everything, now it's my lips. And I will tell you, Flower Beauty is one of my favorite all time lip products. It's the brand by Drew Barrymore and they're sold at Walmart and Ulta. Ulta online, I don't think it's in the store, but it's definitely online. It is so smooth and cooling and it doesn't clump up and it stays all day. It is my favorite. I have this shade Soft Berry. I, and you can tell, I put it on the outside of my lip because I did do more of an ombre lip today. The soft berries on the outside of my lip, swatching this. Ah, there we go, that was one swatch. 
Now I will say it doesn't, you know, it doesn't dry immediately. Give it maybe five minutes and it dries down to a soft matte and it's super pretty. And it's so cooling and I, I do, especially when the dry weather comes, I do have a bad habit of picking my lip. And guys, it doesn't even like cling to my dryness, like my, my crustiness. It does not cling to that at all. And it's one of my favorites and I'll just, I'll just like catch myself applying it because it feels so good and cooling. Um, so that's on the outside of my lips. On the inside of my lips is the Maybelline, once again, Super Stay Matte Ink. I will say when you look at it, and it has a, like a more of a pear-shaped um, applicator, it looks like a gloss. And when I bought it, I was like, son of a gun, I swore this was a matte. Now, it does look like a gloss, you apply it, and it will dry matte. It's not as, it, it does cling to like my dryness sometimes, but for the most part, I really do love it. And it gets the job done, especially with that ombre lip that I have going on. I really do like it, and I really do appreciate the Maybelline brand a lot, because I think they're, they're coming out with some good stuff, and they're getting better and better. And to top that all off, I go back in with my Maybelline Lasting Spray, spritz it up, wave it off, foof my hair, and that is it. That is everything that I've used on my face. The only things that were not drugstore were my eyebrows that I was telling you. I wanted to try more of those benefit eyebrow pencils and everything that I got in that value set. And I have not found a <laughs> drugstore eyebrow product that has really surprised me. So if you do have those, please drop them below. But yeah, that's, that's all drugstore. That's everything drugstore from H-E-B, Walmart, Ulta, Walgreens, CVS. So I'm sorry that it took me that long. I, I rambled forever and ever and ever the first time. Yeah, I promised it and here it is. Thank you for chit-chatting with me and hanging out and being interested in what I actually put on my face every day. So. Merry Christmas, guys, once again. Um, all right, if I post this, I hope you had a great Christmas, and I hope you have a great New Year, so. Yeah.